everyone it's Paola so welcome back to my design channel art design all of the above all the things please subscribe if you're not and please check out my Instagram and patreon and consider donating to me and becoming a patron okay so I'm excited because I feel like I'm the type of person who avoids tutorials yes some people have asked me for tutorials in the past and I've been like yeah but I'm not a tutorial channel and again I'm still not a tutorial channel <laughs> if you want to know a lot about the in-depth stuff about these Adobe programs or graphic design like step by step um, I'm not really the channel for that I am a channel that gives you inspiration I share what I'm doing I share my processes I share what works for me and I share a lot of business help but I'm not really like a technical person when it comes to this kind of stuff at least not teaching it but i figured i would do a little bit of a tutorial for you guys because i feel like sometimes these simple little things can get lost and maybe i do them differently than other people on youtube or in general i might so um yeah don't hate on me if i do it differently than you but maybe this can help you out if you don't know some of these like little design questions that you have like Photoshop stuff, making gifts, stuff like that. So that's what we're actually gonna do today. So let's get going. I'll teach you a little bit about simple photo edits on Photoshop and then how I personally make gifts. Okay, so simple Photoshop edits. I'm going to use an inspiration picture that I found on Pinterest. It's on my design board. Um, if you don't follow me on Pinterest, check it out. It's always linked below. Okay, so first we wanna open our picture in Photoshop. That's the first step. Um, yeah, just by hitting open, not hitting new because that creates a canvas. And then these are just simple edits that you can do to change up the photo if you would like. So first thing is image resizing. If your picture is way too big or way too small, yes, there are ways to change the size and quality of it. Don't go to the extremes if it's the tiniest little JPEG, um, but <laughs> you can definitely resize and reformat your photo, especially if it's taking up a lot of space or um, you just want it to size it down a little bit because it's just a little too blown out. There's lots of things you can do. So what you're gonna do in Photoshop is you're going to hit image and then scroll down to image size. So you hit image size and that's going to bring up the width, the height and the resolution of the photo. So as you can see here, this is a smaller photo and the resolution's only at 72. For a lot of print things, people will do resolutions of 150, sometimes even 300 um, if you're intending on printing this. So, you know, you wanna work with that. 72 is like a screen resolution, so this is like fine for a, obviously a screen photo, but it's a little small. So if you wanted to make the resolution better, you would change that to say 150 and that's going to change the dimensions automatically because it's linked. So that's going to change the dimensions and pixels of your photo and that makes it a generally bigger photo. And all you have to do is hit OK. And as you can see, it just like blew up. It got bigger. And that's basically how you resize a photo. Simple. So let's talk about simple edits that you can do to just enhance your photo or change it a little bit if you want. So there's things like brightness, contrast, color balance, things like that. And then there's also levels, which I love to work with. And actually, the keyboard shortcut for that is Command L. Um, but if you don't want to do a keyboard shortcut, go into image and then go into adjustments and you'll see all of the different adjustments that you can look at. So opening up levels, the levels tab, as you can see, we have it on preview. So that means you'll be seeing what you're changing as you're changing it. Um, and it, you can always cancel it if you don't like what you're seeing. But one thing I do like about levels is that if you do click on this little left part because it's actually black as you can see this is black gray white you know if you look close <laughs> it's a little confusing but yes the black one you can actually set in the picture your black point so that is where the true black is going to be and then you can set that with white and that can be where the true white's going to be and that can definitely enhance the contrast in your photos if everything's looking a little like gray a little blah and you want it to really stand out especially in black and white like this photo see how it just enhanced it when i clicked on the black point it's amazing so that's something you can do i'm going to cancel it and then we're going to do just one other little adjustment in here so we're also going to do color balance which is in the same adjustments tab but the keyboard shortcut is command b and then you can just start changing up the colors in here like the tones as you can see i just made it a little more pink this is the mid-tone section. I'm making it a little cooler. You can see that the black is turning a different color. It's turning a little more blue. In the shadows tab, you can you can really change this around. Like, look at how different the colors are changing. And honestly, that's so, so much fun because it completely changes 
the whole picture and you can do this with like faces and stuff just color balance like changing kind of like the balance of the colors in the photo so if it looks a little green and you want it to look a little more pink go in there and play around and see what you can do to change obviously this is a type picture so you know that's not going to show like there's not a bunch of different colors in this photo but i thought it was a good example to just show how you can actually just adjust something simple like this as well okay so that was my little photoshop tutorial let me know if you want to see anything else about simple photoshop edits that is like the bare minimum basics of photoshop but some of you might not know it and might be looking for that kind of advice so hopefully that helped so how I make GIFs? I make GIFs sometimes in Photoshop and then sometimes in Premiere Pro. I find that actually in Premiere Pro it's way easier, so I have been making it that way for a while now. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it in Premiere. It's super simple because you can bring in a video, you can bring in photos, whatever you want and create the GIF out of that. So I open Premiere and what I'm going to do is do new project and I'm just going to leave it untitled honestly and I'm going to leave it where it's saving all of that leave that <laughs> i don't really care today i'm just showing you this as an example so now that you are open you will drag in your video file or you can hit file import so the video clip i'm using is from an old video that i had so what you do is you just drag it in as you can see it has sound for some reason so actually we're gonna remove the sound uh, and all you have to do here is it's just in a timeline so you're just gonna create a gif which just makes it loop right so this is literally the video that's the video clip it's 30 seconds for some reason so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure oh because it's just repeating already okay don't know why the video clip is repeating I haven't looked over this stuff in a long time Okay, so it's a four second clip, right? Like say that's the thing you wanna make into a GIF, a four second clip. Um, so what you're gonna do <laughs> is actually really, really easy with Premiere. Um, so on here, all you have to do is hit File, Export Media. And here you just change the format from H.264 to Animated GIF and Export. Okay, so to see the GIF that we just made with Premiere, all we have to do is find it where we saved it and then just drag it into a web browser, usually Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox over Safari. But as you can see, there is the GIF in all its glory. We love to see it. So that was how you make a GIF with Premiere. It's so easy to me that I feel like I'm not gonna use any other way anymore. Photoshop just gets too complicated with frame animations and stuff. It just seems a little dumb. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that helped and showed you how to make a GIF if you didn't know. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little design video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what other little design things you don't know how to do and want to know how to do. We might do it differently, but that's kind of the beauty of design. Everyone can kind of figure it out for themselves and hopefully I can be a sort of guide in that way. So like it like I said and let me know and please subscribe if you're not and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye! Ah, my foot fell asleep. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs>